Hi folks and uh, welcome to this, the, what are we now, uh, the October version of Celebrity Signings. Uh, for those who don't know, an update each month of the autographs that I've received. Um, thank you very much for coming back again. Let's crack straight on. Hopefully a shorter video this month. Uh, so the first autograph I got in October uh, is the one you can see here. It's uh, actually a signed book uh, and the book is um, a not a uh, a biography by the actor Alexis Sale, um, probably best known as playing um, characters like Jersey Belosky in the Young Ones series. Um, he was in Indiana Jones, stand-up comedian, done loads of stuff. Um, where I work, we have a free book swap. I was just having a little browse through and picked up this book because I quite like Alexis Sale anyway. Uh, open it up and inside it is signed. Uh, it is it is dedicated, but I've chopped that off here, but it's signed and dedicated from Alexis Sale. So I checked the autograph against those online and it is an identical match. So somebody very kindly donated their book for free. So I brought in a book, swapped it on the book swap and picked up this copy of um, Stalin Ate My Homework by Alexis Sale. Uh, the next autograph I got, another book, and this time one I've been after for a long, long time. Uh, finally managed to get something signed by the amazing Eric Idle. For those of you who've seen my videos before, I've got stuff signed by most of the Python team. Um, really, the only one who's missing, other than Graham Chapman, obviously, uh, was Eric Idle. And uh, finally managed to get his new autobiography. I paid for the, um, pre-ordered the signed copy, as you can see here. Uh, and there's his autograph inside. So, um, unfortunately, it's not on my multi-sign picture, which would have been the perfect uh, addition, but I'm really happy to finally add Eric to my collection. Uh, and that's pretty much, obviously, other, I say other than Graham Chapman, who's almost impossible because you can only purchase them and they're like hen's teeth, they're so rare. Um, he is the last of the Monty Python team that I needed to get an autograph from, so really happy with that. Uh, next autograph I got was my first TTM for October, and it's from the awesome Michael Carter. Uh, I sent two pictures to him, took about six months to come back. Um, a little di disappointed with the responses because he signed in silver pen and unfortunately they've got quite smudged. This one's not too bad. Uh, this is Michael as uh, Gerald Bringsley, uh, the character in American Wealth in London. Uh, and I love it, he's but don't take the tube and he signed it with his character name, Gerald Bringsley, and then signed Michael Carter. Um, the other one I sent him then was Bib Fortuna um, from Star Wars, but as you can see here, unfortunately it has got quite badly smudged. He has signed it, um, Michael Carter, and then underneath Bib Fortuna. Um, but it was, it was pressed up against the other photographs, so all of the the autograph basically is smudged off onto the back of the other image, which is a bit of a pain, but never mind, I put it on here anyway because it's still readable. Um, I might send to him again at some point, but I think he's a little bit hit and miss as to whether he replies or not. I'm pretty sure this is the second time I've written to him and the first reply I've had, um, so I can't complain a new addition to my Star Wars collection. Uh, up next is Amy James Kelly. Um, she's been in Coronation Street. I know I don't watch it myself, so I um, uh, don't really know the character per se. Um, but she was in a brilliant series called Safe that I watched recently, which is a really good sort of crime thriller drama. Um, and this is a picture of her from the series Safe. And you can see here she signed it for Carl, Amy James Kelly. And again, this one's smudged a little bit, which is a bit annoying, um, but not too bad, so that's okay. Um, and then the only other picture I could find was her from Coronation Street. So this is her character with uh, another character from Coronation Street. And she signed this as well for Carl, Amy James Kelly. So, uh, so that was really cool. Took about a month to come back, which was nothing at all. So um, yeah, nice addition to the collection there. Uh, next re next reply or next autograph I had um, was actually an in-person one. I went to an event um, at where I work actually. They were holding an event um, talking, which was called something like "How Doctor Who Is Made" or something like that. Because obviously Doctor Who's made in Cardiff. I was working in Cardiff at the time, and they had some people from the series there. So I managed to get two autographs. I brought a book with me, which had this awesome picture in. Um, and I got it signed by Edward Russell at the top, who is the Doctor Who brand manager. But the one I really wanted is the autograph uh, just across the bit that says police box there. And that's R. Wilwyn Jones, who is the, um, let me check, his, he is the, yeah, the Doctor Who production designer. But he's actually the chap who has designed the new TARDIS in the Jodie Whittaker series. So that new TARDIS we're seeing, he created it, he designed it. Um, so he was there doing a talk. It was really, really interesting. And I managed to get Edward and R. Will to uh, sign this um, quite cool TARDIS print that's inside um, a Doctor Who book that I had. So really pleased with that one, uh, and another really nice addition to the Doctor Who collection there. Uh, next up is Tim Allen. Um, I think anyone watching this pro this channel, these videos, will probably all have one in their collection already. It's somebody I know replies, but I've just never written to just because I'm not 
a massive fan, if I'm totally honest. But I'd seen he was replying to everybody, and I do like Toy Story, so I thought, why the hell not? So I sent him two pictures. This one from Home Improvements, which I hate where he signed it, but I also love it. Um, he signed it right in the middle, where he could have just signed it in that big blank square at the top. Um, but he's actually like signed up his screen wife's nose which is quite funny um but the one i really wanted was was this one i think it's the one everybody sends him um and of course it's um everyone will recognize this buzz lightyear who tim voices um and that's quite a nice clear large signature on that actually which i'm really really pleased with I only took a month to the us and back from the uk so so very pleased with that um i won't write to tim again as i'm not as i'm not a massive fan but i've now got buzz lightyear in my collection which is really cool uh, next autograph is actually a purchase. Uh, it's from Jenny Linden, who um, plays a character whose name I've completely forgotten, which is terrible, uh, in the Doctor Who film Doctor Who and the Daleks. I purchased it from her website because um, a, a, a friend of mine told me that she was selling autographs I didn't realise. Um, but I actually ended up essentially getting three for the price of one here, which is quite cool. So I ordered the autograph um, and she sent me a note. This is only the end of the note, basically saying she's run out of pictures, so she take a, but she's going to get back to me as soon as possible. So she wrote me a long note and signed it, Jenny Linden. She then sent me the autograph and put a note with it on her headed card saying, apologies for the late arrival, all the best, Jenny Linden. Uh, and then here's the picture I bought, which is her with um, Peter Cushing which is really cool. Not Yeah, it is Peter Cushing, sorry. Um, yeah, it is Peter Cushing, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Peter Cushing, um, which is really cool. Peter Cushing obviously is the Doctor. I, I don't particularly like the autograph. She signed it on her dress, and she's put to Carl Jenny Linden, and then in a different pen she's written with best wishes underneath. I kind of wish she might have just signed it across her top, which is a lot brighter and clearer. But the fact I got three for the price of one, I'm not going to complain about. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, three for the price of one from Jenny Linden. And if you want to buy anything from her, the link to her, her website is on my blog page. Uh, next up is, uh, well, some autographs from Adam Pearson. Adam's probably best known as a, as a um, sort of campaigner. Uh, he is an actor as well, TV presenter. Um, and he was in the film with um, Scarlett Johansson called Under the Skin. Uh, this is Adam here and obviously Scarlett Johansson. I sent him this picture. Um, which, to be honest, it was the best quality that I could find online, and it's not particularly great, it's really dark, so I completely understand that he signed it on the back of the picture, so he's put two Carl Best Wishes Adam, and I don't begrudge him that at all, because Christ knows where he'd have signed it on there, because it's, it's not the best of photographs. But he also included his own picture as well here, which you can see, and he signed that Adam too. So that's really cool. Um, and the fact it's tied to a film that's got Scarlett Johansson in, who is awesome, amazing, and yeah, really, really cool, so very, very happy to get that one back. And the last one for October was a Via Venue, really, really quick return around. I can't remember how long it took, but it probably wasn't more than a couple of weeks. And it's the awesome Bonnie Langford, a new addition to my Doctor Who collection. Obviously, she played Mel in the um, sort of latter part of the original series. Um, and I've never had anything from her. I don't have a picture with her, don't have any autographs from her. She's in theatre at the moment. And so I sent her two pictures. I sent her this one. Unfortunately, my flash went a bit nuts or the light in the room was a bit bad. So the, pic the pictures are way, way better quality than you can see here. Um, but I sent her this picture, which is signed to Carl Bonnie Langford. I've sent her this one as well, um, which is her, Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldred. Again, as I say, the quality is way much better than this. And I've chopped half of Sophie Aldred's head off there, but it just that was just the way I cropped the photo. It's fine in the image. So I may even see if I can get this sort of multi-signed by the three of them. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, and then she also included herself, one of her EastEnders cast cards. She plays Carmel in EastEnders. Um, I'm not a soap fan, so I don't watch EastEnders. But a nice addition, and she signed and dedicated that to Carl Bonnie Langford. And that is it for October. Hope you enjoyed the video. Way, way shorter compared to the last couple of months where I've had tons. Um, but that's fine. Sometimes it's nice to have a shorter video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, not share, comment. <laughs> subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's awesome to have regular viewers. And I really, really genuinely do appreciate it. Um, it makes it all worthwhile knowing that what I'm doing was... Is, is worth it and I appreciate the comments that you've left me over the last few months um, they, they are massively helpful and, and hugely appreciated so thank you very much hope you enjoyed the video and see you in a month's time for my next update